يوم الأربعاء الثاني والعشرين من كانون الأول ديسمبر عام 2010 عقد مؤتمر موسع بعنوان مخيم أشرف والسياسة حول إيران في باريس بحضور السيدة مريم رجوي رئيسة الجمهورية المنتخبة من قبل المقاومة الإيرانية وشارك وتكلم أمام هذا المؤتمر عدد من كبار المسؤولين الأمريكان السابقين وتم فيه التأكيد على ضرورة اعتماد سياسة حازمة تجاه الفاشية الدينية الحاكمة في إيران وتغيير النظام في إيران وتأمين الحماية لمجاهدي أشرف ودعم حقوقهم وشطب اسم منظمة مجاهدي خلق الإيرانية من قائمة الإرهاب الأمريكية راه حل صحیح مسئله ایران تغییر رژیم ملاهای حاکم بر ایران است <تصفيق> یک تغییر یک تغییر دموکراتیک به دست مردم و مقاومت ایران این همان عنصر تعیین کننده معادله ایران است پس پس هر سیاستی که راه را بر مقاومت ایران ببندد مهمترین اهرم تغییر در ایران و مهمترین نقطه ضعف رژیم را نادیده گرفته است و این است قلب خطای سیاست تعامل این اشتباه را به روشنی میتوان در قبال مسئله اشرف دید ایالات متحده میدانست که دولت مالکی مجری عوامر ملاهاست و این دولت سیاستش را با جنایت و ترور پیش میبرد با این حال مسئولیت امنیت اشرف را به عراق منتقل کرد چنان که حقوقدانان نشان داده اند این انتقال نقض سریح قوانین بین المللی است یعنی نقض کنوانسیون چار ژنو، نقض کنوانسیون من اشکنجه و نقض اصل نارفلمان حالا کار آنها به این جنگ روانی وحشیانه آن هم با نسب 140 بلنگو در اطراف اشرف رسیده است راستی چرا ملاها از یک گروه محصور و بی سلاح آن هم در هفتاد کیلومتری مرز ایران می ترسند و می هراسند. زیرا می دانند که کلید تغییر در آنجاست زیرا می دانند اشرف با هزار زن پیشتازشت الهام بخش برابری و آزادی برای زنان است And the made a mistake in turning Camp Ashraf over to a government that is not ready to handle these responsibilities fairly and decently. This is a horrible deprivation of human rights. 11 people already killed since that happened, 500 people injured, prisoners cut off from being able to see their families and their lawyers. And in a world that seems to get terribly upset, when the slightest little mistake is made by the United States in holding pr prisoners anywhere. Where's, where's the world outrage at what's being done there? The world outrage isn't there, and this is also partially because the United States doesn't make this the kind of issue. We should be there protecting these people, helping these people, assisting these people, and make sure they are treated at least with the basic norms of the Geneva Convention, the basic norms of humanity. And that should change now. Here is what we know. We know that your brothers and sisters and sons and daughters and those you support at the camp disarmed and consolidated themselves under the protection of United States troops. 
We know that the men and women and children in this group are given protected persons status under international law and under protection of U.S. troops until the Iraqi security forces pledged, pledged their protection in 2008. We know that a 16-month review by the United States government found no basis to charge any single member of the Iranian opposition group with any violation of American law. We know that the decision and the designation by the United States has been the justification used by the tyrannical regime for imprisonment, torture, mutilation, and murder. We know that after a thorough investigation led by distinguished jurists throughout Europe, including classified information, both the EU and the United Kingdom no longer view MEK as a terrorist organization. And we know that finally this designation is again under review by the United States Department of State after a federal court earlier this year said the government failed to provide sufficient support for the classification. I join with all of you in believing that the United States must lift the designation immediately. There are about 3,500 members of PMOI who live in Camp Ashraf, near the border of Iran, in Iraq, that they were protected persons under the Geneva Convention. From 2003 to 2009, the United States protected the residents of Ashraf and fulfilled the solemn obligation we had undertaken in 2003. But in January 2009, as you are aware, the United States turned over the responsibility for security to Iraqi security forces. Before that transfer took place, General David Petraeus said that the United States had been assured by the government of Iraq that the residents of Ashraf would be protected. We should delist because it is, not, it is not only inconsistent with our values, with our declaration of independence, but is inconsistent with the commitment that we made to you in Camp Ashraf when you turned over your weapon. I should not have to travel to Paris to see Ms. Rajavi. She should be able to come to Washington. The American people need to hear her voice and your voices and the voices of the oppressed in Camp Ashraf. You know, where today as we sit here this evening, those who are charged in the Iraqi government with protecting, protecting Camp Ashraf are those who in July of 2009 were responsible for the incursion, the beating, the maiming, and the killing. They're not protecting them. So let me say this to Prime Minister Maliki. Not only is the world watching and will not stand by silently and watch you permit the Iranian regime in Tehran a victory denied them in eight years of war with Iraq. The United States of America, since 2003, has, has spent its most precious resource in its people. It has shed blood and treasure on your soil. And that gives us the God-given right to demand for the people of Ashraf the very democratic freedoms we died to make sure you had. Secretary Clinton, if you're listening, with all due respect, this is not an internal Iraqi problem. This is an American problem.